Hey yo, so I recently chatted with my friends Grimsteak and James Cruz for a raw bonus episode over at patreon.com slash oldculture. You may remember these fine gentlemen as the hosts of the Cruising with Steak podcast, which I have been on twice before. Grim and James hung out with me for more than two hours to chat about virtue signaling, UFO encounters, ritual magic hesitations, media consumption habits, drug consumption habits, fasting, frequency healing, doing mushrooms at the serpent mound, and literally too many other subjects to list. And as a way to drum up support for the Patreon, but also for the Cruising with Steak podcast, this episode is actually available for free in their podcast feed. So if you like how this clip teases you, you can get the whole thing by searching Cruising with Steak in iTunes or your podcatcher of choice. I do hope you enjoy it. And I do hope you head on over their way to check out the full episode here, which is linked in the show notes. Enjoy. Ryan, I got I got something for you. Okay, I've been reading Chaos Protocols and uh, Gordon White's book, and I'm thinking I'm going to uh, like seriously do the the headless right. You should do it with me. Like we should do it on the same day. I should do it with you. I have the book, so uh, I haven't read it. I, I've read part of it. I haven't I haven't finished it, but. Yeah, I'm like I'm like a hundred pages deep, and it's it's really good. <laughs> like it's it's opening my mind to a lot of shit, man. But dude, uh, I think it's like page like sixty something, or I don't know. But j- check, look I don't it think up. I got Let's that do far. it. Yeah. Okay, so tell me what it is, real quick. Like, go through what it actually entails. Um, what I have to do. you have to uh, write this phrase on a sheet of paper. Um, you're gonna make me grab the book because I read it earlier, and I don't fucking remember shit. Hold <laughs> Sorry. On. Sorry. Well, yeah, I'm going to keep talking while we do this because I'm a master like that. Um, okay, here we go. The headless, right? And then, okay. After you write this, uh, I can't even pronounce this. So I need to get, get like some phonetic, uh, things. Just glance for at it. Dude. Just glance. Yeah. At just glance. Out, I guess. But you write this thing on a uh, piece of paper six times and then you, face different directions and recite a whole bunch of shit and uh, i'm just dumbing it down and people who actually like did this are like grimstake you're a fucking moron you need to stay away from magic (laughs) 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 but uh yeah it's pretty much basically what gordon says is it's a way to contact spirits basically like if you've never had any kind of experience or you want some kind of crazy experience like do it wait a couple days your dreams will get fucked up like things will get crazy and see what happens just try it out because that's the biggest thing man like you just got to do it like you can't just sit on the fence because for so long like i've been kind of into this shit for like almost a year now and i've just been like no i don't want to do anything i don't want to do anything i don't want to mess around with that and then it's it comes to a point where it's like no, fuck this. I want to actually try it. I want to see what this is about. I want to do this. I want to fucking stand in the woods and say some crazy fucking shit while I'm, you know, just pouring rum. And it's, it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> like, okay. dude, I, I just, I, I want to try it out and see what happens. Yeah, man. I, oh gosh, we were talking about this in the discord chat earlier, or at least I was, we where I was, I was talking about, well, my, I was watching you yeah, yeah, I was watching you talk about it. Talking about my aversion to like ritual magic and how I how I just I'm not really I'm just I guess I'm more hesitant than you are. I, I don't know if that's a door I want to open. I think because most of all, I am still psychologically not as healthy as I'd like to be. And I think that's important and also physically as well. This is something that um I asked Ren about this last week actually. Uh, but it's something that I think makes a lot of sense is that if, if you're going to go into these magical rituals that you need to be in shape in every facet. And I don't think that I'm emotionally or psychologically and I don't think fully physically ready to do this. No, no, Ryan, you are. You are. And I think I, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now that it's that constant doubt. And if you if you always try to wait for that perfect moment, that perfect moment's never going to come. So it's yeah, just about right. doing it. You're right. But how do I... Okay, I, I'm, I'm asking somebody who doesn't do magic for magic advice. How the fuck do exactly. I... How the fuck do I control the experience, though, if I don't... I mean, I, I don't want to... You're, you're, you're pretty strong-minded. You can handle this. Oh, no, You've I'm very weak-minded. I'm very weak-minded, Grim. You don't know me very well. 
<laughs> but anyways, so okay, I'll tell you what. No, man, you're just like, like our buddy Leonidas, dude. He really wants to get into this stuff, but he's really cautious on the uh, on what could happen by doing it. And if, you, like, you were talking about uh, mentally and maybe you know, yeah, y- health wise stuff like that, being ready to like what to expect from going into something like that, like pretty cautious. But he wants to do it. <laughs> Well, I mean, may, maybe the caution, like maybe the hesitancy is, it's kind of like, uh, if I go in, like if I do it and I'm still cautious, it's not going to go well, right? Like I have to be like, fully invested in the experience, like want to do it for it. Confidence. Is yeah, it just yeah. fear of the unknown? I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 is Possibly, that all it is? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it could be. I've I've never really turned down unknown experiences in my in my past. But there Never is turned something... down a free shot, right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but there is, but there is something about there is something about communing with spirits that I am not really sure if I'm supposed to be doing that still. You know, like Yolo, I think dude. I'm, Yolo. I'm opening Yolo. some sort of. Well, that's the thing. Okay, I don't want to get on the YOLO stuff because I'm just I am... joking, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because it makes me think of like um, this this argument that I not an argument. It was a discussion I had uh, a few weeks back about like reincarnation that like a lot of people uh-huh. in this community just assume that that's what is going on that that's what happens you know <laughs> no, no, you did it's necessarily like... <laughs> reincarnation i mean it could be something like uh it's almost like we're living all our lives at once and who knows what the fuck happens I like I, mean, I don't know man. like more... who knows yeah. The one thing the one thing I know for sure is that we all die. You can't stop it. It's going to happen. And then when it happens, we'll all find out. So there's no point in worrying about something that it inevitably happens to every human. We just got to live. We just got to live and take every fucking experience in this world in. Cuz otherwise what's the point of the human experience if you're just going to be doubting things? Which are that's this is something that I'm trying to fucking get over myself. Like I have like a I have a crippling anxiety from just like years of drug abuse and depression and things that I'm just I'm trying to just like break free of all this shit because it is man I mean as gay as it sounds YOLO it's absolutely true uh you yeah do. break down those walls and, and 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 live it dude try it hey, you know that's why I've always done the craziest shit ever I could find I don't know fuck yeah, it, let- you know, <laughs> jump off that cliff into a pond I don't care. Cool. But like whether or not like like I mean I know I've talked to like like Ren and stuff like our like our souls possibly immortal we've possibly had constant lives and shit and you know you'll you'll talk to people who'll be like we've known each other for fucking hundreds of lifetimes or some shit it's like talked to a couple it, people like that recently <laughs> yeah mm. yes <laughs> so, but but it is man it's like who who knows what's going on but the point the fact that there's there's people doing shit. They're contacting the spirit realm or whatever it is. And whether or not they're actually doing it, they believe they are. So if you believe it, it's actually happening. That was That's what I was trying I- to get at, Grim and James. That's what I was trying to get at earlier about this the the biology of belief, I guess. Or you can take it beyond biology okay. as well. Is that, you know, so if I'm a devout Christian... Uh, and I believe in that story as literal truth, then that's that's my reality. That makes up my reality, right? If I believe in in magic and in, in spirits and all these gods and goddesses, and then I can go in and perform a, essentially a science experiment and and talk to them, then that's my reality. Like I've yeah. I've created mm-hmm. that reality. Like it's, it's kind of like what you said, uh, James, where I manifested the fucking UFO because I was really paranoid i was into it at the at, you know like at that time and then all of a sudden bam it's in my life so go ahead. that's very true i think what you're saying right there with all all of this stuff how you know way, way to bring it back around again i mean all these things correlate into forming your own reality you know and whatever you're into at the time if you're deep in the magic dude you're going to be looking for every type of like weird thing that's in front of you you know analyzing it you know but like you were saying in these in these groups, even these small groups, I get what you're saying. Like, tr- uh, maybe take in all angles, yeah, and try try to analyze it that way. 
you know, without being so one one track minded about things. That that's also that thing about the uh, the headless right I was just talking about. Like Gordon wrote in the book, like you may get crazy dreams. Like if you if you go into this and you think like I'm gonna have fucked up dreams if I do this, like that's your psyche, fucked up dreams. <laughs> that's your psyche creating that. So it's like you may just be manifesting all this just but that's intention that's fucking magic like i mean i don't, I don't know it's yeah i mean you definitely create your own reality like what you believe is gonna come true to a point yeah i mean but to that's, a little see that's my problem is that because of recent experiences well no well let's hold, hold on hold, hold on but my, right. well no i mean my problem is is that based on my recent experiences and i'm talking three years to now I have not been in like the greatest mental spot. So that's my hesitation is that am I going to go into that experience with a positive mindset and then have a positive experience during that? And then also after that, or am I going to get really wrapped up in it and approach it like that in a more negative way and then really fuck myself up more than I even was before. So that's my hesitation. And I understand the whole, just do it, just do it, just do it. But if my mind is, is creating this experience on some level, I still just want to make sure that it, it, I'm in a good spot that I can control that. You know what I mean? Then, yeah, then that's a personal decision in the end, you know, if you want to take that step or not. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't have anything against that. You know, I say just do it just because, um, you know, I, I guess for the experience, yeah, you might, yeah, like you might not be in the right frame of mind at certain days of the week, but maybe the one day you did it, you were feeling great. You know, you don't, you know, it, it's, it's a tough call. I don't know. But James, do you mm-hmm. want to do it? What's I'll do it. I mean, I, I, like I said, I'll, I'll hold hands with all three, I'll, I'll, with the two of you and we'll jump oh, off dude, the same can, cliff you together. Can dude, yeah. You can do it at the, uh, we, we can meet up at the serpent mound in Ohio. Oh, <laughs> Fuck! We should do that. We should take. We should right, take a right in should... the uh, right in the center of the uh, the, the egg. In the we mouth. should just meet up there anyway, even if we don't do a magical general, ritual. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just Give Mike and Axe to meet us there. Yeah. <laughs> so 